Yo, what is up everyone? Hope all is going well for you. Welcome back to Get Jacked. Now today what we're going to be doing is actually going over five of my favorite base locations. Now, I love these spots. I've built on quite a few of them because, I don't, I don't know, I've built on a lot of places in Ark. And uh, I've done a lot of base building locations in the past, but they have changed the map a ton. Um, none of the ones that I've done on the island are really up to date and a lot of people have been wanting new locations new spots and like want to see what they look like now almost a year and a half later um, I made those locations a long time ago now this one here which I think is gonna be cool for like PvE and stuff maybe not PvP because it's pretty hard to defend with all the different uh, terrains I think that place is really cool but let's get into a little countdown here I'll take you through five of these locations and let me know what you think Alright, so the number 5 base location here is right at kind of like this delta here on the northern part of the map. Now it comes out into the ocean, so this is a really good spot if you want access to the tundra for organic polymer and then the ocean as well for, I know, you can get like sea mounts and stuff really easily. Now in PvP, you don't want to be too close to the water because people can you know, use rafts to raid you and whatnot, so using the flat spot over in that area is actually probably going to be the best spot if you're over here. Now, a cool little spot we've got in here. Maybe you might want to throw a little gate over if you build over here. You might as well use this as a little vault chamber or something if you can fit one. Um, I'm pretty sure you could probably do a couple gates in the way of this spot. So, I haven't even grabbed this one before. The Archaeopteryx one. So, we've got that, but I don't know. I think you could probably incorporate this into a little bit of a build if you take over this waterfall and stuff. In PvE, this would definitely be a cool spot, but I mean, PvP, I don't know. You might want to build closer to the ledge over there, like I said. Now, why is there a Sarko over here? This is not a place for that. Now, anyway, like I said, you've got good access to the water. That little peninsula, I think, is a really cool spot that you could also utilize. But the other nice thing about this, besides being close to all the stuff in the tundra and the two, two mountains behind us, is also going to be... Where is it at? I can't really see it because of the, the snow. Oh, right here. We've got a three metal like spawn node location thing I don't know whatever you know what I'm trying to say we've got uh, quite a few metal spawns right there so I think this is a really cool spot this is one that I haven't built on before but just with how much metal oil and all of the other resources you can gather in this area I think this is a really cool place to be a uh, pretty easy introductory tundra area anyway that's number five why don't we get into uh, number four here Alright, so here we are with number four. Now, I've actually built in this location. I really liked it. It was actually before the swamp and redwoods had been added when I built here, and they kind of made the whole area around here all different and this is kind of stay the same but anyway it's like this big uh you, you most of you have probably seen it if you fly or flown towards the uh, volcano or whatnot but it's kind of this like three tier area over here and where i built my main base was on top of this little upper part and then i put my dinosaur pen and whatnot around here so it was like a two la layer one and then i actually cleared out the very bottom too and was able to use that little area for dino storage as well so if you want to build a big base probably pve um up here over on this area might be a little bit better for pvp to be honest because as you can see there's a big cliff here that actually keeps you from being attacked from ground so if you built on the very edge you'd probably be able to build a pretty decent pvp base that would only be able to be taken out by um air like animals but the only problem with that is it's it's really exposed you can you can see and anybody will know you have a base there <laughs> because this is a pretty uh, high traffic area but this spot over here turns out to be really good at least for uh, PVE but actually almost every PVP server I've seen has a base on this area too so I don't know it could be pretty good anyway that's gonna be number three for this guy sorry number four for this countdown let's get into number three Alright, so number three is going to be the ice island out here. What are the, let me grab the coordinates here. If I can figure out how to work my GPS. Come out, please. Okay, so 29.5, 10.9. Uh, this is one of my favorite spots, to be honest. Probably on the whole map. 
Um, I wouldn't put it at number one for just because how far away from most resources it is, but for the look and kind of like the area that it's in, I think it's my favorite. I'm actually planning on moving a base out here pretty soon. I've actually built out here once before, and I want to come back again because I really think it's a really, really fun spot to build. But anyway, I would like to note that if you are planning on building here, I wouldn't recommend coming out here at a low level. Um, you're going to want to be able to bring supplies over. You're going to want to bring dinosaurs that you've already tamed over because you can't tame anything or or gather resources too much over here so once you've already got enough stuff to build a new base i definitely recommend using this area but you don't want to start here because i mean you could but it would just take too many resources so anyway as you can see i was i was wondering if you could fly a pteranodon in here but i guess not i thought it would be able to like fit through this part but it doesn't seem to be quite as forgiving as the normal parts of Ark. But anyway, you've got this little pool here, which you can use to bring in like water dinos and whatnot. And then there is a fully submerged pool on this side. So if we go into this one, which I actually have my scuba gear, I believe in the bird. <laughs> Let's see here. Yeah, sweet, okay. I didn't think about this, but that's nice to have. Okay, we'll grab these and I'll just kind of show you the entrance this way. So, obviously, you can get a ton of organic polymer out here, along with oil. Um, I don't see any penguins over here, which is odd. Usually this place has a ton of them, so it's kind of weird that they aren't here. But anyway, you've got this fully submerged area as well that... I'm sure you could put a, a dino gate over part of this somehow. I don't know, I've never really tried to block this off, because the last time I built here was PvE. And I think this would be a really good PvP base because not too many people make their way out here unless they're looking for organic polymer. And I would assume that attacking a base in the tundra would be pretty difficult because you actually do have to watch, like, your hunger quite a bit more. And, you know, like, you don't want to freeze to death as well. So I'm sure that does some damage to people that try to raid bases out here for extended periods of time. So that's why I like this place for, like, a end game kind of PvP area to build. But anyway, uh, let's get out of the tundra. This is going to be the last one here, and let's get into number two here. Alright, so, number two, in this countdown at least, is going to be this pillar here. Now, I really love this spot. Almost every time I've joined a server, actually every time I've joined a server, this spot's been taken. Um, it's probably one of the first ones that usually goes. And actually, it got a lot better when they added the Redwoods because really any base located near here allows you to get a lot of different resources like sap. And of course, you're close to like taming snails and terror birds and whatnot. But anyway, that's not the point of this. Uh, we've got this area up top, which has a ton of metal. When you're starting out, if you want to build at the base of this mountain, you can easily ferry metal from the top to the bottom. And then once you've kind of established yourself, got a quetz and, you know, you're farming from the mountains and whatnot you don't really need that pillar and you can build on it um, I've seen some people build on it I've seen some people build around it um, but also you've got this whole area down like to the well I guess it's not down it'd be to the north of it and you've got water you've got a waterfall I just had to do that <laughs> I just, just too tempted um, but you can build on these pillars you can build in the valley um, but it just turns out to be probably one of the coolest spots as you can see it's just got some awesome views and I think it's pretty well defendable too because you can build off in any of these crevices and probably get a pretty decent base. Usually um, the bigger tribes build in this area because they can utilize a lot of it. Um, but that's pretty much all the show of that. I really like it. I think it's cool and I've never had the opportunity to build in it. So hopefully some of you do. Now uh, let's move on to number one in the countdown. Alright, so here we go with number one in the countdown, and this has definitely got to be the Hidden Lake. I love this spot. It's up in the northeast corner, and I, I put a big base here at one point, and it turned out to be a really cool spot. There's a lot of metal in the area. Now, there are three entrances. There's one there, one there, and then one over in that spot. So you can either block off this whole area, probably not in PvP, but in PvE, you can definitely block off this whole area and use it for dino storage and stuff. PvP, that would be really hard to defend. Usually, I just see people build on, like, one segment of this spot. So, beavers spawn on this spot here. So, if you build on, like, the ledges, you can definitely just take, you know, all the cementing paste from them if you just uh, don't ruin their spawns by throwing stuff around it. But you've got two mountains over there. You've got one right there. They're all pretty close, actually. And then, of course, Carno Island is just 
just pretty much north of here so you can definitely utilize that for taming stuff or getting some really good experience now it is getting really difficult for me to make these videos because <laughs> there's so many awesome places as they've updated the map and like added new areas and stuff like seriously i'm flying over to this spot and i see like five awesome spots on the way over here now these are just common ones um so i definitely like showcasing these just because there's so many awesome places in arc and it's hard to see when you're walking on foot like where everything is you know what it looks like as from an aerial view and where the resources are so that's why i like to do these but anyway that's where we're going to stop for this but i will also be continuing this series on scorched earth and probably on the center map the last base building locations was on the center map but a lot of these have changed just because the other videos that I did on this are over a year and a half old so if you're wondering why I'm doing these now that's why I'm just trying to get these uh, locations kind of better more out there because a lot of my older videos on the base building locations are different because the coordinates and even a lot of the locations have changed before redwoods and the swamp and stuff so that's why I'm redoing this series if any of you are wondering if you liked it definitely hit that thumbs up and or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already you all have a great rest of your day and of course We'll catch you next time.